All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, we have a teddy bear, and he is very careful with coronavirus. <clears throat> a teddy bear is very well known that they are very, very, very uh, careful when it comes to their health. A human is not. Uh, you know, one of you here asked me a question about. Uh, I posted a picture. I was in Walmart, which is a very five stars uh, store for very rich people and uh, the shelves was almost empty so they asked me I, I, we hope that you found the food you're looking for etc so I said I'm not shopping there for food and then one of you said why are you switching to veggie like are you going vegetarian uh, food in your yard or something so how you survive this uh, you know situation you know, so like today we will talk about things we should change in our lifestyle. And this is not about just coronavirus, it's about anything. Seeing the Middle East, because we are people who suffer a lot from uh, uh, all kind of uh, disasters, including war, maybe number one. Uh, we, we, never, we never have peace. I mean, it's always there is something. Uh, because we are very peaceful people, we have to be honest here. Uh, so always you have to be prepared for the worst. There's nothing is called the good time. So in Middle Eastern house in the Middle East, always you will find people storing a lot of food, which can be enough for a few months. So when something happened, you don't rush to the market to buy when everybody want to buy, because simply you will not find what you want to buy. And you know, when you live in a country, it's like people can be weird sometimes, like in America, where everybody buying toilet paper, which is very stupid. I mean, the first thing comes to your mind that, okay, we have coronavirus. Now people, they are going to store what? Food. No, in America, they store toilet paper. The toilet paper is number one interest for American because everybody, he is worried about his poop. I find it very funny and very stupid and how much people are just driven by uh, the media. They saw a woman ordering a lot of uh, toilet paper. Suddenly everybody want to buy toilet paper. But why? Nobody can explain. I mean, why you need a lot of toilet papers? Anybody can tell me? Why in the world people want to buy toilet papers? I mean, like crazy, not only just buying. Uh, for sure, I'm not against you to buy toilet paper. But why you want to buy like something enough for two years? And toilet paper is not really important. I mean... You can survive without it. Actually, you should wash and use a toilet paper at the end, not the whole thing toilet paper, because nothing can clean you good as, as the water. So toilet paper will not make you really clean, but it can keep you dry, let us say, so you will not have infection in that specific area. You know what I'm talking about. But instead of going to store food, buy your rice or beans or etc., American, they flood the stores buying toilet paper now obviously toilet paper is very important and it can save us you know i mean if we uh, have a toilet paper our bomb is secure and life is good don't ask me why why american they do those things because i don't understand really how people in America they think and the other way actually you see in America that people are buying a weapon and an emission okay so we have coronavirus people rush to the store to buy toilet papers and guns it makes sense I mean it's obvious it makes sense because American they watch too many movies about zombie, dombie, too much zombies to the point they became dombie. So all those movies they watch about disasters, they come suddenly in their mind. Okay, what will happen? Now we will find people in the street shooting and looting and taking your money and taking your toilet paper. I have to defend my toilet paper. So what we do, we buy guns and ammo. Have you ever heard of such a thing? only in america but i'm sure in your country you have seen the thing the same i mean but maybe different uh, different uh, only in indonesia only in india those the every nation have something specific about them which is funny 
<clears throat> so, you know, we don't want to be naive and do what people do. And this is the mistake everybody do. Look at this guy. He's carrying the toilet papers and supposedly like he's so happy. Mom, I got the toilet papers. Yeah, son, <laughs> your anus is, sh is, is saved now. <laughs> what is that, man? The shelves are empty. And I mean, what happened exactly? When you see this news, you think that people in USA, they eat the toilet papers. They don't really use it for specific use, but it's like food. So how we survive such a time where people, they are ignorant and people, they can create chaos. You see, because when everybody go and start buying like crazy, that will be more dangerous than the virus itself. First, you will expose yourself to stores, busy stores, crowded. Secondly, uh, you you make you make the, the 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 market out of food, which means someone he have a lot, someone have nothing. So that can be really dangerous more than the coronavirus, which means human behavior sometimes it is more dangerous than the risk itself. The react of the risk is more dangerous than the the, the, the risk itself. So what we should do? You know, what exactly we should do? Uh, people are selling hand sanitizer for 70 little bottle. You know, yeah, we can see crazy. I don't use them and I will never use them because those uh, uh, those liquid, they don't really clean your hand. It's a, it's a lie. Nothing will clean your hand as washing it. And why you need this thing? I mean, just wash it. Wash your hands. What, what's wrong? Are we out of water? <laughs> sanitizer <laughs> actually all those products you see if you buy any of those products they say that this product kill 99% of bacteria and viruses okay so the 1% which is not killing it is going to kill you so they are saying to you from the beginning we are cheating and we are lying it doesn't do sanitize because what kind of uh, what kind of a liquid will kill 99% of the viruses? So what the benefit of it? Obviously, it killed the one which is weak and Corona is not. So it's not useful. Thank you, Corona. You know? <laughs> so stupidity is amazing. The human being is very weird. Uh, you do not need alcohol. Just use wash water, man. Water, water, water is the best. Water, just use water. You know, in Europe, they were suffering from uh, uh, like infection after they do surgery, when like m m medicine start to become more advanced. But after they finish the surgery, the person get infected. Why? Because they were using water, which is not running water. The Bible speak about that. You should use running water to clean a wound. So running water is the best way to fight any kind of bacteria and viruses to prevent them from entering your body because the whole process is what is to prevent the illness to get inside your body very simple easy method yeah for sure if you have uh, uh, like uh, uh, soap yeah but i believe the number uh, one issue is the water you know uh, soap it will help for sure to clean and the more strong it is the more can but you see those chemicals sometimes if you use too much soap can be damaging to to your skin too and to your to your health so don't exaggerate with the soap thing uh, so anyway cp is almost ignorant as muhammad regarding basic science what does that mean what what is that what is the ignorant i said can you help me please your majesty doctor uh, what's your name doctor gw <laughs> so anyway uh you know for me i always have extra food in my house and i store a food which is not going to damage and this is not because I'm worried, but because I'm relaxed. 
which means why I want to wait until something wrong happens. This food can be used even after three years. So what you will lose if you store it and don't use it, let us say you can use it, but you keep, keep updating yourself. So you keep the same level of food for you in your house. So if something wrong happened, you will not go panic like those people and go crazy. If you wear somewhere without water, you can use sanitizer. Yeah, but those sanitizers, they are not real, my friend. Every, those are fake products. They are not real. They are, they are not really true, you know. And, and just to show you how, uh, uh, how, how, how funny people are, uh, most of the hair product you use have a very damaging things for bacteria. So you can spray your, your, your hand, you know, spray it with any of those things will kill any bacteria. They are very harmful. There's many ways you can fight this. If you don't have water, let us say, you know, not necessarily this sanitizer thing. Uh, you can always store food like rice, beans, and those will never damage. You eat them. And if you are a person who live like uh, maybe in a village or a countryside, will always you can, uh, you know, uh, grow your own food, having chicken, having uh, vegetables, etc. This this will make you always safe and secure. Or if you have a backyard in the city or city you live in, they they allow you to grow chicken or uh, good for you, you know. To grow your own but this is not enough you have always to store a basic food which is easy to store like rice so don't wait until everybody go to store to buy same time you know people they have a bad habit as you see in the front of us in this picture i mean this place have thousands of people they are eating in one place i mean th this is a place where sickness can be regardless if coronaviruses exist or not Avoid this massive size of a group of people breathing in the same space, eating in the same space. This is a very, this is not a good social thing. People think, oh, this is fun. A lot of people here. The fact is not. First of all, if you are talking to the person in front of you, you have to scream because too many people are talking, too much noisy. Same time, a lot of people here and that can bring illness and sickness. Many things we can do to prevent ourselves from facing a disaster. Number one, store your food. Food will not damage. There's many kind of them. And for sure, those who they are from Asia and many of you here from like Indonesia, etc. Rice is very simple. Store rice. You can store a case of rice for three, four years and nothing will happen to it. It will be fine. Uh, like you know sardine etc so, you know, some some stuff and that will make you always not under the threat of rushing and going crazy when something wrong happened because what if an earthquake happened not necessarily a virus earthquake tsunami something I mean something bad happened stores stopped uh, uh, a highway is uh, closed. Uh, you lost electricity for some reason. A, a volcano. So, disaster can happen. And we are not living in heaven. We are living in earth. So, you have always to be prepared for the worst when the worst come. You don't wait for the last second to be prepared for it. And don't forget to, be, to always have some kind of form of medication like first aid bandage uh, for your wound, wound if somebody got uh, cut or whatever you know uh, uh, those basic things you don't buy them when you need them you buy them in advance when you do not need them and always learn this if you buy when everybody need things will be very expensive and rare to find buy when nobody buy sell when nobody sell the method is very simple. When nobody sell, and you are saying, that means you have too many of it. And they need it. They will buy it for sure. Because nobody is saying what you have. 
and buy when nobody buy because simply it's going to be there for almost free cheap price because nobody's buying it so you have to be smart in the way to prevent yourself from being in trouble in the future by preparing for the bad even if bad maybe never happen but what i will lose i mean how many of you spend a lot of money to buy a phone you know some they have like expensive phone a one thousand dollar phone can't you spy spend like three hundred four hundred dollars to save your family from from uh, uh, disaster time so you can be safe and secure at least you will not be struggling to find some food for your children always you have to be ready for what is bad and the bad can happen anytime uh, You know, I, I remember, uh, this was a few years ago, I bought a, a you know, battery, like, you know, charger for power. But here we don't lose electricity, really. I mean, in America, rarely we, we lose electricity. It's not like something happened, usually. It's not like in the Middle East. In the Middle East, we have a Christmas all day, all year. You know, my mom, she put the, the, the food in the oven to cook it. It takes 10 hours to be cooked because the electricity come, go, come, go, come, go. Sometimes it go, never come, you know, depend. So my neighbor says to me, but who need this? You do not need it. I said, well, if I need it, it's going to save me. Big deal. It's not expensive. I bought it. Less than 48 hours after a big explosion happened because it was hot summertime too many people using air condition so like the the, the machine which transferred the electricity in the in the area explode could not handle too much pressure everybody have no light except me my phone is running my computer is running and i'm okay so i did not get bored really even I was able to run my modem, you know. I did not get bored uh, sitting at home. There's nothing to do. There's no electricity. It is dark. You cannot see in your way. You cannot go to the kitchen. You have to light candles. So simple things you do, which nobody expected to happen. This is, the, this is what this disaster is about. Disaster is not about something you expect. Disaster happens when you are not expecting them. So you don't go and buy uh, uh, like a okay, uh, flashlight when it's dark. You cannot find it there. I mean, everybody was going to buy. If you lose electricity, everybody. You prepare yourself for the time. So when the time come, you are ready. We have to be smart. We have to plan always for things. Otherwise, we can pay for the consequence, which is, can be a lot of suffering. But by the way, yesterday it was my flight to go. I told you I'm going, you know, I did not take the flight. I would drive because I don't want to go really in an airplane and there is somebody is coughing next to me and he make me sick. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I, I'm not really, uh, uh, I don't fear. But I just do what is smart, you know. Why I want to go through this? I don't have, I don't, I don't like doctors. I don't like medication. I don't like medicine. I hate it, and I don't have health insurance, you know, which means I will pay for it from my pocket. So if I can avoid it by avoiding going, okay, I will go. I will drive. So here you see, you need to, you, you need to make a right decision. You need to make a right decision. My flight will take me maybe. Uh, let us say three hours, four hours, I will be where I'm going. Now I have to drive to many, many hours, but I prefer to drive with many, many hours, enjoying it's a springtime, weather is nice, the view is nice, going in the road, driving, and the, and the gas price now is so cheap. It's better than going airline and people are sick. And the, I saw the airport, the airport are so crowded and so crazy. 
So I said to myself, why I want to do that? Just go driving. So you need to avoid places where you should not be, you know. Uh, I mean, if you look in the, in the news, it's really sick. I don't want to go to the airport now. I don't want to go really to the airport in such such a madness. Airport are crowded. They are scanning people with cameras and heat sensor and blah 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 and like what is that? American return to long wait screening. Yeah. See. Are you driving alone? No, I'm going by myself. I don't like to go alone. I always go by myself. And there's a difference, by the way, between alone and by yourself. Alone is somebody is lonely. He wished to have a company, but he don't. By myself, it's mean it's a choice to be by myself. I am not alone. All right. And what? Why? What's your business about alone or with people? I mean, look at women how they investigate things. Christian friends, are you going alone or there's something with you? <laughs> and now we will wait for the answer. What is the answer? Are you alone? What's your business? I have four wives with me. What's your business? My car fit for five. Unbelievable. So I'm saying I'm going to avoid the crowd and I'm going to drive and you're asking me if I'm going alone. For sure I'm going alone. I'm avoiding the crowd. No, I will take a bus and I will take 50 people with me. Hmm? Yeah. <clears throat> no, always women, they have a questions. You have to be like, men, they don't notice what women they are like aiming for. Like, you know, for you, like you are a man. Men, they are usually naive compared to the women questions. Oh, yeah, you know, like you, you give the answer right away. You have no idea what is coming next, you know. Actually, I receive a text message from a lady. She's saying, it's definitely that you change the place because the sound is coming different. I mean, they are watching even my sound, man. Definitely. You change the place. You are not talking from the same place was before because the sound is coming different. So, even my voice, how it's coming, it's leading them to information if I am in a room or different room. You believe it? Women, I mean, investigation, brother, investigation. <laughs> and they say women are stupid. You're right. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, those lady going to call you after the show? Oh, no, we will not talk or take calls for what? I mean, there's nothing to say. I mean, okay, we're just sharing the thoughts about uh, things. And actually, I will be in the Arabian Prophet after we finish here. Uh, I will, today, I will do a topic that Muhammad was for sure a prophet for Indian. Take it as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You see, I am uh, uh, flexible. You know, I am flex, 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 flexible. Okay, yeah, it worked, flexible. Yeah, BM the Mercedes. I, I'm not going to tell what kind of car I have, but I have an old car, which is enough for me, you know, uh, and doing the job, you know. And this is another issue, issue by the way. People, they, they, uh, Middle Eastern, they love BMW, uh, Mercedes, etc. Actually, I remember once, you know, I went to Middle Eastern church. Those are supposed to be Christians, you know. Uh, I have a very old car, very, very old car. You know, to the point I left it, the, the window open and the key in it for almost 15 days, nobody stole it. This is how old it is. <laughs> so anyway, this is not the car I have right now. I'm talking about this is uh, long before. Uh, when I went to this church, nobody say hello to me. I mean, those people don't remember me. Uh, simply because my car is old, very old. 
fake, you know, one of the things about Middle Eastern, uh, doesn't matter if they are Muslims or Christians, you know, they are too much into money and show off and, you know, they, they are messed up. So uh, one day I came with somebody who have a very fancy car, you know, and suddenly everybody, where are you from? Is that the first time you come to the church? I so, said, what's wrong with those people? I came here like more than 10 times already. Nobody remember me. You know, just because you came a very rich person, you know, driving a very fancy car, suddenly everybody is recognizing you. Very fake people, the same as the prophet of Islam, you know. Uh, so, you know, people, they spend a lot of money too for fancy stuff, but the smart one is the one who prepared to survive when he need the money most. Like now, many people, they are going to lose their jobs. Airlines are shutting down. Restaurants are shutting down. Theaters are shutting down. Uh, I mean, many Airbnb people, they were renting the property, etc. A cruise ship are shutting down. Uh, I mean, everything is inf like an under effect of this coronavirus, which means now, if they shut down, where you will get your money? How you will pay your bills? Who's going to pay for them? So you spend, you, you know, you spend your saving buying a stupid car just because you want to have a fancy, expensive car. When the fact you don't cannot afford it because here we go, you lost your job. And this is one of the stupid things a human being he do usually. He spend his money in things he cannot afford and he it's not necessarily because a car for $5,000 or a car for $500,000 in America, they do the same. You cannot exceed the speed of 65 mile an hour. So if you have a Ferrari and I have a donkey, both of us, we have to speed the same speed. So what's the difference between the Ferrari and my donkey? Simply you like to show off. As simple as that. Correct? Because if we have the same speed limit, your Ferrari is no better than my Ferrari, you know? <laughs> so those who spend their money in stupid things, then they will pay the price and the consequence when they need the money most to survive. So if you are a person who keep buying phones, you are being a fool. The phone is a phone. I mean, what the difference between the phone was sold last year and the phone this year? They fool you. We have a three cameras. My friend, three cameras, one camera, two cameras, still the same garbage. It's a phone. If you want to buy a camera to have nice pictures, get a professional camera. One deal will, will stay with you for the coming 15 years. will give you a very perfect picture. Phone is a phone. They fool you. We have three cameras, four cameras, seven cameras. I believe time will come and the background of the phone will be like 20 cameras, brother. And the fool you, the, each time they say to you, we have a new camera with the technology of Susu Mumu CC. And it's a stupid picture of a phone. And then you spend your money and the phone you have is still working. It's good. No, no, you, you have to buy the new phone. Like, come on. So, you, sp you, you are a person who is a middle class or maybe even poor and hardly you can afford to live and then you spend a, a, a money which may be an income for you if you live in Asia or etc which is an income for you for three or four months or maybe six months to buy what a stupid phone and when you you know when disaster hit like disaster not necessarily a tsunami maybe your child gets sick maybe you have a death in the family Maybe, 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 you never know. Maybe somebody have a cancer. So what do you do? You spend with the money, the little money you are making, you spend it and you make the rich richer and you stay poor. Why? Because you are a person driven by temptation and desire, not by a thinking wisely. Phone need to be updated because of security reason. My friend, you can update Android. You do not need to update the phone. <laughs> Download the new update for your phone, the new Android, and you will be fine. You do not need to update the, the, to change the whole phone. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh boy. You have always, always choices to be smart or to be a fool. You have iPhone 12? I have iPhone 20, eh? <clears throat> we are using Arabian signals. Nobody have it. You know, they are talking now about having 5G as if it's different like the 5G. So what, what is this 5G? I mean, it's, it's going to be different. I mean, this the same garbage. I mean, what, what you know, like... Uh, I need to update my speaker because this one is 5.0 Bluetooth. The one I have is 4. But both of them, they are going to give you the same speed anyway. Because, like, yes, they say it is double speed, but it's going to be the same. You know, you you want to play a song in your speaker, it's still working the same. So they are fooling you. Nothing will change. So, when you know, we are just driven by temptation and temptation will make you go you know to the wrong direction you see what about you as a as a poor person you save money to buy a house or an apartment for your security for your children phone will not save you going to a restaurant just having fun you know there is a lot of people they spend a lot of money on going out a lot of money some people even they spend maybe half of their income because they are obsessed of going out and staying in a table they want to feel like they are spoiled somebody is serving them how sir how are you doing sir what do you like to pay what do you like to uh, to, uh, to eat sir what do you like to drink sir and then you have to pay tips and pay for the food which is very expensive which you can make it at home for a few dollars and then at the end of the month, you look at your credit card bill, you will find that you are screwed. And actually, I noticed that in USA, a lot of people, they don't have, they don't own houses. They get a citizenship, their opportunity is limited, their language skills is limited, etc. And yet they are doing way better than those who they are born in the state. Why? Because they appreciate where they are coming from. So... They struggle hard and they save hard the hard money they make. And then you will see the immigrant who just came 10 years ago. He have a business or he have a house. The American who was born in this country, he is renting and the Lord land, the landlord is kicking him out. So if you have little money you are making from your income, what about you save to buy a housing, security, you know, housing, roof? It's a blessing to have a roof so nobody can kick you out. You will not be like a homeless person going every few months or every few uh, um, every year from a place to place. That's it. You are the landlord and that's it. This is your kingdom. It doesn't matter how poor the house is. Poor house is a billion times better than expensive car. Because in that land... You are a king. This is your house. Nobody can say to you, get out. Nobody can say to you, you are not welcome. You do not pay the rent. And nobody can put conditions on you. But you know, a human being always is tempted by product. He want to buy new phones. He want to buy new cars. He want to buy new fashion clothes. You want to buy eyelashes? I mean eyelashes. In the time of Corona, buying eyelashes, why? Do you think you can fight the Corona by eyelashes? Are you going to lash Corona? <laughs> Thank you, Rebel. You know, eyelashes, the number of sales of eyelashes is increasing, brother. Why? And actually, you know, it's really funny when I see those people putting eyelashes. It, you feel like they are installing a wing of airplane to the point you are worried that the eyelashes will hit your eye. What's wrong with people? So surviving is not only about Corona. I wanted to get to share here with you how you prevent yourself from going down in any way it doesn't matter what kind of disaster it is you make some money you save saving is the bottom of the line 
the more you spend the more you are exposed yourself i'm not saying be cheap don't ever be cheap in yourself never never be cheap no being cheap is evil is ugly it's not even christian behavior but be wise so you save what is enough for you to live a nice life you are happy with it especially if you can afford it but you have to save in the same time so when something happened you are secure you have your housing you have your food you have your your, your health is covered you have many issues waiting and spending everything you have in your pocket like you have your salary is $500 and then you go and you spend $500 for a phone that's obviously you are a fool you are literally a fool you know I remember once I was talking to a Filipino uh, I said to him so uh, he, he was working in the Gulf for how long you were working there he said I think 20 25 years so, okay so what you did now I so you're coming vacation and, or that's it shouldn't you be done he said no I have to go back I have no money I said so you work all those 25 years there what you what you did with the money what well, the money you made from this country is you work in abroad you know you are there living like like a puppy literally they abuse you they use you they enslave you the purpose is to go abroad to make money and what next he said well you know when I can each time I come back from vacation I buy gifts I buy cameras phones for relatives etc look, look at this fool so 25 years of his life is gone wasted for a bunch of a crap plastic accessories phone and cameras and keyboards so now he is old and now he still need to stay more and now he is more desperate for work because now he's older nobody will hire him why you do that yourself if you are going overseas to work leave in your land your country your family you are suffering there you are not going for a joy then you should come back with good saving, open a business, open a store for yourself. You don't want to be under the threat and control of somebody you call him boss. So you go overseas, you don't see your family, you see your family once every two years for two, two, a week or two. I mean, life is wasted. Your family don't have you, you don't have them, and you are working abroad as a slave. For what? To come back buying a keyboard or a phone or a camera where is the intelligence we have to be smart otherwise we will be demolished and you know life don't excuse the fool if you are a fool nothing wrong would be with being poor but nothing nothing can be excused for being a fool and poor and fool is a disaster you know when somebody is rich he spent let us say in a stupid way when he's rich and maybe even the rich he can get poor if he spent too much more than he can afford so foolishness can be a disaster in every way every mean we have to be smart but sadly usually people they don't listen and they are always tempted and temptation is very powerful I remember there's a Middle Eastern guy he saw me I did not see him for long so you know I come coming from the store and he said, uh, oh, you know, how are you, etc. I didn't see you for long. Uh, yeah, you know, so I so said, you go into your car? I said, yeah. So let me walk you to your car. And look at that, Middle Eastern, how do you think? So he walked to my car because he want to see what kind of car I am driving. Hmm? So he can evaluate my success. This is what he think. So we went all the way and then I'm next to my car. I said, oh, this is your car? Oh, it's an old car. I said, yeah. I said, so... Uh, okay well okay nice to meet you good to meet you again take care <laughs> you 
you know even when you when they they think that you are poor they don't even want to associate with you like okay good to see you and i'm happy to see you again okay i have to go now but if i'm driving mercedes-benz or bmw or etc the guy he will invite me to his house maybe he will uh, you know the middle eastern this is their style so stupidity stupidity is amazing i find this stupidity is amazing by the way because it amazes you how a human being can be fooled first of all if a person driving an old car doesn't mean that he is poor maybe he's wise and you are a donkey you see there is there is uh, all those famous ones who have billions like there is the guy who is lebanese guy he's a mexican lebanese he owned the stock market half of the stock market in new york he owned the stock market in mexico he owned the trains in mexico he owned the 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 the, the, the i think uh, the all the cell phone companies and the guy is a typhoon the guy is and he live in an apartment they live where apartment he don't even he, he like he don't have a big fancy house so the full one they think that we can judge you by the appearance so if you are not driving ferrari you are not a person who can afford ferrari but it not be the opposite and actually i find that that always the wise one is the one who is humble when he is can afford it but he don't buy it first it is more wise secondly it's more safe because when you drive those cars or wear very expensive watches you will be a target for every criminal in town exactly carlos salim this guy is 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 he can buy uh, countries you know go and see where he live so uh you know foolishness foolishness always can be the biggest disaster it's not corona our foolishness is scary so i advise all of you save money buy a house or an or, or a property a, a, an apartment buy a security housing is security especially if you're a person who live like in in a, a, a not very much populated area like let's say you are, you are from indonesia and there is like a, a lot of lands so buy a little land and build your own house that will be your kingdom when the world collapse you are inside your kingdom you are protected you have a roof and then you can grow some vegetables some ch chicken whatever it's like a village you can live you can survive way easier you see in usa people they spend maybe half of their salary just for rent just for rent which means okay you make three thousand dollars you spend a thousand five hundred for rent and then you have to pay with the list the, 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 the lift of the money to survive to live the one thousand five hundred so after working 20 30 years you find that you have no money and still you are renting So if after 30 years of my life working like a donkey, then still I cannot have a house. So what kind of life this life is? So you, if you live in Indonesia and you can earn and have a housing in less than 10 years is better than someone live in America for 30 years, but he cannot, he cannot afford to have a housing. You know what I mean? buying a property is the most successful decision you make in your life i believe especially if it's going to be your house because you are saving a lot of rent i stayed in an apartment long long time because i have no choice it's not a choice i made i have no choice and then when you leave you leave with nothing that's it and the money i spent i calculated the money i spent for rent it's enough to buy me a very nice fancy house so all those years i was working paying the landlord money making him rich and staying poor and then when you leave the landowner the landlord he will say oh you you uh, 
I, I will not give you the deposit. Well, why? Well, why? Why? What deposit? Why not? You stay there for 12, 13 years. Even the paint is clean. And he tried to make excuse even to steal more from your money. The land tax is so high? No, it's not. No, it depends. It depends in the state. Like, uh, if you live in a state like California, don't go. Don't go to California. This is the land of the liberals, and everything. Uh, everything the liberals do is weird. They have rules over coffee. You know, you go to California, you hold the cup of a Starbucks. It says, "This coffee can cause dangerous and can cause an exposed any material, and this cup can expose to chemical and blah 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 blah." By the time finishing reading the, the 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 warning of the liberals, you feel disgusted from drinking the coffee. They make rules for everything to the point everybody is fleeing California. Nobody will live in California no more. Stay away from liberal state. If you are a person immigrating to USA, never go to a state controlled by liberals. They are crazy, literally. You buy a blanket, even a blanket have a warning, this blanket can cause cancer. So what we would do? I mean, they have they put rules and condition to the point things became so expensive in California. If you want to cut a tree and the tree is dead, you have to go and apply for a permit, and then they have to send an inspection, and then the inspection have to send pictures, and then he have to send report, and then the city have to see it, and then the city have to go to send to the environment whatever by barbage Druda. I mean, all of this to cut a dead tree. They make it so complicated to cut a dead tree, but so easy to kill a baby. They support abortion. I'm, I'm telling you, those I cannot live with those people. You know, I stay away. Kill a baby is so easy. Cutting a tree is dead is a problem. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you go to if you go right now to Amazon, go to to Amazon, search for any product. You will see at the bottom of the information a warning for California state. If you are buying from California, there's a warning, a special warning. It doesn't matter what you buy. It doesn't matter, even if it's gum. Actually, I think there's a warning, like if you are going to marry a woman from California. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, like, you know, uh, like the, the best states in the state in the USA is Texas. And uh, let us say maybe uh, like the, 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 the area, they call it the, the belt area, the Bible belt. Texas, uh, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Florida, uh, you know, those are good states to live in them. Yeah, and all Asian, by the way, they love to go. Uh, they love to go to California. I don't know why. I think because of the weather, you know. All Asian, they go to California. You go to California, you, you go to the street, you find yourself, you, you think you are in Vietnam. No. Well, Texas, all of it is good because it's cheap. Texas is cheap, you know. It's it, compared to other states, it's very cheap, and they have a lot of oil too, a lot, a lot of resource. The only bad thing about Texas, it's hot. It's kind of a, more of a into desert uh, uh, weather, you know. Uh, but Texas, uh, there's a lot of places are beautiful and the prices of houses is so, so, so cheap, actually. Let me give you an example. Hold on. Just to show you. All Asian? Yeah, most of Asian, actually. They love to go to, uh, to California. Uh, Melina Penner. Thank you, Melina. God bless you. Thankful for this family. Time, God bless you, CP and family. Thank you very much, my dear sister. Okay, I will show you an example. House for sale in Texas. 
And then I will search for house for sale in California. <laughs> and you will die laughing. <laughs> you know, in, uh, in Texas, uh, you can buy a house. Let me just open the map. Hold on. You can buy a very fancy house, actually, for a price is not enough to buy an apartment or a dog house in California. And I'm serious about that. Let us see. I will put, I will make it uh, like a, an average price so we don't get something really very expensive, you know. Uh, let us see. Uh, okay, hold on. I will put the map in the screen soon. So I can give you an example <clears throat> and then you will see what I'm talking about. Nine minutes what? Oh, I have uh, the other account to go and uh, uh, maybe I should have changed the dating. Let us see, hold on. Oh boy. Um. All right, I'm trying just to find a good uh, lo location to search. But for some reason, this uh, map is not helping me. Let us see why. I don't know why. Let us see. Okay. Yeah, I will just give you an example. Okay, this is a, this is a house as an example, not limited to in Texas uh, for one hundred thirty nine thousand dollars. This price will not be enough to buy you a little tiny studio in San Francisco. Actually, a studio in San Francisco can go with three hundred thousand. You know if you can find actually something to buy one hundred thirty nine thousand look at this that's impossible to find in California so in California you look like a, you know you live like a cat you work like a dog or like a donkey and you you know you don't have a life you don't have a life you know I mean uh, the quality of life, the quality of housing, the quality, even food is cheap, even the, the, the gas is so cheap, everything is so cheap. This is what happens when you live in a state of liberals, you know. They make things very complicated, as simple as that, you know. Uh, let us see. Yeah, soon I have to go to uh, to the other uh, account, but let me.
maybe I should make a video just as, uh, about uh, about where to move in USA. What do you think, guys? Why I hate California? I don't hate California. I hate the liberals' rules, the rules. You know, I don't hate California. Why I hate California? Why you want to hate a land? I mean, it's only foolishness to hate a land. The land is not. It's not the the fault of the land. California is a beautiful country, actually. Why I hate California? I would never hate California. How you, how this has come to your mind that I hate California? California, I hate you. <laughs> anyway, um, actually, I was thinking to buy a house in uh, in like because the prices there is so cheap. Uh, but the area I found, it's perfect for me. You know, I like, I don't like crowded area. But the only issue was, it's not the mix of uh, ethnic. I like mix of ethnic, not only one ethnic. To be sure, nobody will be like racist with you, you know? Because for me, I am not, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a foreigner still. I mean, I am a, an immigrant. So when I go to a place, I want to be sure that I will not be treated as a stranger. An area where it's mixed with all kinds of ethnic, black, white, uh, Asian, you know, this is my favorite area because then it's a, it's a, it's a very, very good, uh, uh, like, uh, let us say, atmosphere to live in. Let us see. Yeah, for sure, it's a good idea. It's what we are saying that people they should buy, try, avoid renting if you can avoid renting. You know, if you cannot, I mean, it's okay. This is, a, but this is, should be renting should be a temporary choice until you can afford to get uh, the good housing. You know, I mean, the good, the good, the good. The, let us say, uh, uh, chance, opportunity. Uh, paying rent is a is a loss. It's a loss of money. It's not really. A money you are not making money you are just losing yeah all right we will go to the other account soon and see Yeah, look 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 at the prices let me show you this look at the prices this house for 120,000 this house for 150 if you get this house in California that's mean you are a billionaire not only a millionaire to have a house like this for 150 in Texas in California to have a house like this you have to be really very very rich And you know, it's like, it's a normal house. I mean, it's not like, a, but but it's a nice house. I mean, you have a nice life, uh, security, and, and beautiful house. But in California, this one is a big dream. That is, is impossible, actually. If you are a person who, even if your salary is $7,000 in California, or even ten, to get a house like this, you have to have a mortgage for the coming 50 years to pay the loan. You know, while in Texas is very cheap. Life is so, you know, uh, look, the house have two floors, two kitchens, uh, guest rooms, back, big backyard, very nice build house. Look, you're, if you have like 20 kids like me, because this is my plan, you know, I want to get married and you have like 20, 25 kids. We are Arab, you know, we like to have kids and we send them in the street to throw rocks at the neighbors. So we like to practice our happy hobby. So look at this nice house. How you can get a house like this for 150 in California? It's, it's, it's a dream. You can ask anyone from California. He will laugh if you say 150. He literally will die laughing. You know? You see how big they are? 
a nice area, beautiful area, you know. Look at this. This is the entrance for the house. <laughs> the backyard. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, this is why, you know, making the right decision uh, can change a lot. Why you want to why you want to be stuck in this uh, California thing? Okay, the liberals is there making rules, making everything is expensive, tax is expensive, crazy, food is expensive. Why you want to stay there? What do you have there? You know? Like, if you leave California, you will die. No, you will live. You will live happily. And that's why for me, you know, I, I, don't, I don't find a reason actually to live in such a, such a state, even though the state, by the way, is beautiful. The state is not bad. It's not the problem is not the state, but the liberals' rules is the crazy rules. They made living there is impossible. Look, let me show you this house. This one for ninety nine thousand. For how much? Ninety nine thousand. Let me show you. Look, look at this uh, entrance, the garage, how big it is. Look at this. Look at this. $99,000. In California, that would not buy you a, go a dog house. <laughs> anyway, guys, I have to go in the other channel, so we will meet you there because already we are late, I think, two minutes. So I will be in the Arabian Prophet, and the topic will be about uh, Muhammad being a prophet for the Indian for sure. Join us there, and we will be right with you. The Arabian Prophet waiting for you. Take care and God bless. And again, to survive, my friend, not only about coronavirus. Survive is about you planning for the future. Save your money. Don't spend it in foolish stuff. Store some food when you when you are in comfort zone, not when disaster happen. Uh, medical aid necessity, uh, uh, elect like electric, uh, like a backup, like a battery, etc. And the most important thing is save your money to the time when you need it don't spend your money in stupid things on phones and fancy cars and those will not make you really when you need it when you need the money if you go to sell your fancy car you will lose half the price they will rip you off so you have to be smart vigilant otherwise you will be a victim of stupidity and remember when you are a fool the whole world is against you there is no mercy because everybody want to take advantage of the fool everybody so it is a must to be smart it is not a choice don't go and spend your money in stupid things when you need the money those things will not save you you cannot exchange an iPhone for a place to live nobody will accept or cameras or a keyboard or all those stupid things you know like I have an iPhone can you give me your cow <laughs> the one who own a cow is ten times smarter than somebody he is buying Lamborghini because the cow she will give him living source Lamborghini will not you pay tax for it a lot of maintenance very expensive and then you will and, and, and if a scratch hit it you are you, you are losing a lot of my sister's scratch a cow will give me milk give me meat I can I can give me babies too and then the cow the two cows will become a three and the three will become four and the four will become five but one car will stay one car and then you will sell it old and people will laugh at you for spending a lot of money for a stupid machine correct so invest your money where it is right and don't be a fool we will see you soon in, in a few minutes in the arabian prophet thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and thank you for those who uh, support us with donation i really appreciate that and uh, see you in the Arabian Prophet doing what needs to be done for today. He is waiting for us. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.